Hello, welcome to Gadget Mad Lad. In this episode, something I've been looking forward to doing for a couple of weeks since I got it, um, is this little bugger. It's a British Gas Smart Meter. I think it's basically like, I'm, I, I've, it's not mine obviously, It's uh, it was given to me by a friend on Facebook. Um, so thanks, shout out to the person who donated this, thank you. Uh, it's a British Gas thing, I don't know what the actual brand is. Geo apparently. It's a pretty cool little thing. I'll, I'll do. We've got a little power supply plugged in here, so click the connect it. Show you what we get. So we've got on this side here a little three dots, which you would assume is the touch interface, kind of tap tap there. Uh, they call it capacitive touch buttons because there's no like interface touch screen wires or anything. You get me? It's just these buttons there, but. These buttons there are also buttons. These buttons are obviously these buttons. Uh, so these symbols are also capacity buttons as well. Um, I was reading for the manual, you know, having a little gander, see if it's interesting. This itself isn't like um, an actual display, or I don't think it is. I'm turning on certain angles and it looks like, um, you, know, the, um, uh, you know, the old Game & Watch ones, or the old um, Tiger Electronics, you know, handhelds. It's kind of like, you know, it's got the preset graphics like in place and it just illuminates the relevant part of the screen and that's essentially how you get the display. Uh, I'll give you a little example. Um, we've got this menu here, this gives us... Uh, so this is down, this is up, this is center of select. So let's go down to demo mode. So we go to that and I skip through a few of these, we get a little display, there we go, of what it can display. So, it, 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 the weird thing about it is, this is like a dot matrix one, so this is pretty cool display, but I think it's like a LED, you know, on the actual bit at the back itself, not actual backlit screen, and it's also illuminating parts of this maybe. Could be wrong, obviously, but we'll tear it down another gun though. So, skim through the things. This obviously means nothing to me, I have no clue. If you've got a smart meter, you might have a clue what it means, but I generally have no idea. This is what I'm interested in this screen here, eh? on this like a little project thing, so it's not coloured looks of it, it's monochrome. So nothing major special there. Um so let's for advanced. So she what odds and sods. It'd be supposed to be pretty cool if you could hack these. Get free electricity or gas or something. <laughs> Connecting to smart meter, it'll never connect because there's nothing there for it to connect to. Alright, so let's disconnect the power. Right, so the power is 5 volts, 1 amp I think, maybe. You see on the back? No, pretty sure it's 5 volts, 1 amp. So I'd look at the, that's how we'll look at the charger. So it's on the able only, why not? <coughs> pretty funky little charge module, only 2 wires holding, power no data. 5 volts, 0.25 amps should I say. So, if you use 1 amp on this, you'll probably frazzle it. Right, so, to gain access, uh, we're going to need a suction cup and a soldering iron. So, I've had a little mess about this style just to confirm I could get into it without destroying it because I don't want to break the actual. I'm not, I'm not that bothered about breaking the housing, but I'd rather not. You get me? It might be useful for something else. So, here we've got a little button on the bottom of it. So, from the top of it there, there's a very bottom bit here. Press that in, and we get to see the back. Here we've got a little. Looks like an LED. Hmm, is it an LED? Yeah, I mean, that's going to be how it communicates. Look at this as well. I noticed this and I stuck a little sticker back over it because I thought it was pretty cool. But if you see that, I thought that, I looked at that and I thought, that looks like a phone jack, you know, kind of, you know, the telecoms people use. So I lifted it up one sec. Can I get it open? Oh, bugger, everything's falling apart. So let's get these away because I'll do the trick. And blow it. Let's see. Intriguing, eh? Some kind of programming part or something, maybe? This little cover over it. Also, that means nothing to me now, so I can go to the side for the bin. This one from one of the last teardowns. <laughs> Stay to the side, you. Be a good circuit board. Alright, so let's move this out of the side. This is out to the way, even. This is just the back cover. We've got a bit of plastic there, really. We've uncovered that. So at this point, you're thinking, how do you get any further? Alright, well, here's what we do. We have a bit of jiggery pokery. If I'm not mistaken, is that how we, how we do it? I can't remember. Oh, this is about a week ago. I tore it down. I didn't tear it, didn't tear it down, but roughly figured out how to tear it down. <coughs> Excuse me. 
Uh, so, to this point, we're, we're still here and still no screws. What could we possibly do? Alright, well, I'll show you some more stuff before we go any further. Alright, if you look here, we've got a connector here, which I know, you know, the actual uh, tactile buttons on the front, the tactile capacitive, sorry. Uh, on, the, on the front is a little panel, and that's where it connects to the board, and also three more test points. We've got the barrel jet connector for the charge port. I think this is some kind of LED, you know, light pipe, whatever you call it. So let's get to the nitty gritty. Move this plastic out of the way, and here we go. This is where the good stuff comes in. So like I said, you know where that is? We need to get the suction cup right there, and if I pull. I just better to put it more force into that to be honest, but I've already loosened the glue so it can be a bit easier. You might have to put it more force when you do, but it's only don't worry, it's only it's no ribbon cables. Oh there isn't from this should I say, there is still from the actual screen, but as long as you only disconnect this bit, you should be fine. There's no pogo pins slash um GPIO pins, I think maybe you call them. That's for the actual bottom, you know the row buttons on the bottom. I actually only thought I had them in a second. When I first got it, I only thought I had them free, so I took this part off, because it's as far as I went last time. Well, last time, by myself, should I say. Uh, and I noticed it went as far over there, so I thought, oh, I wonder if they work. So I messed up pressing some buttons and it did some stuff. Nothing major, just like changed the value of something, I think it was, or something. But that might come on to something else. And then again, maybe not. Maybe I could use them buttons or something. They got a little pin out there or something, maybe something on the other side. Should we have a look? Will it break it? Hmm. Curious. There's another one to find out. How's it? It's been prior to. Where are you? Where are you? You're not there, obviously. Because that'd be too easy. Oh, I'd have to break it, man. Oh, there we go. There we go. Come on, don't break. I want to see what the um, capacity look, touch thing looks like on the inside. Obviously, it wouldn't be a tear down one if it wasn't. That's how this work then. So. Yes, and any time, like if you stuck this behind something plastic, judging from the thickness of that, uh, can you see that on camera? Is that coming across? Well, it's not the thickness of a human nail, maybe a little bit thicker. So, anything f thinner than that, I would have thought would probably work as well. You can so just, oh crap, I've bent the pins there. <laughs> Stupid. So, you can bend about with me. Force quarters. Come on, you. Come on. Hmm. Don't break. Don't break. Fluffy little clouds. Oh, crap. That'll work. There you go. Oh, do you like me seeing that here? Yeah? That's some blurry mess. Focus. I just bent this very end pin in ever so slightly so it was touching against the next one. So I'm going to reconnect it anyway, but obviously I'm going to. <coughs> use something to remove that sticker residue, what residue off that, and I'm definitely going to use that board for something. So yeah, as you can see, this is how we gain access to the insides. So now we have to fandangle around this. So this is essentially what I did. I oh, I popped these out like so, and that's as far as I went, just to confirm, you know, I could get into it. Because I didn't want it to be like a 20 minute video, you know, I'm just trying to get in. Don't like when it when it happens with it or not. <laughs> so I might have actually been wrong from what I can see here. There's a backlight to this itself. And by one sec, what I'll do, I'll just disconnect the latch. <clears throat> Tweezers, very careful. Disconnect that one. So if you look here, is it gonna focus? See the ribbon cable out, one second if I go there, see how it's two parts, it merges into one. Well, this section here where it says A and K, if I'll focus, focus, you're gonna work, you're gonna work, you're gonna work. Well here, trust me, I'm at the end of my day fingernail is, <laughs> them two little solder points that are under some caption tape, that's the backlight. So that itself is actually pretty cool. That's a fingerprint, yeah, it's fingerprint, I thought I'd crack the screen then. Got a little bit worried. Alright, uh, so let's just move that to the side. So that's the screen, that's the dot matrix display. This is the one with the pre-set kind of images, you know, that are illuminated throughout different cycles on the chip or whatever. See if I can get this out. 
not damaging it. Not the biggest dilemma if I do. Oh, it's quite good anyway, so we're all good. Mm, are you just gonna come out or are you gonna be a pain in the butt? Let's see if I can fry it out. Trying to crack the LCD, obviously. Hmm, I'm gonna get to you. Right, so there's a little thing there. Let's see if that does anything. Hmm. Not really. <laughs> so it's not the end of the world if I break that bit, but I'd rather not. Oh, there we go. So these two bits there, these seem to the back of the actual screen itself. So maybe I can just push it through. No, that's not. That's catching on something. What's it catching on? Oh, the battery terminals are as well. It seems to be the back of the actual LCD. I've, I've lost my thin pry tool, so I can't. Essentially. Ah, right now I see it. I see it. I see it. It's a little hook thing there. Like a lip. So if I can get that. Oh, crap. Come on. There we go. So once I get it past the lip, you'll notice it's lifting up now. You'll notice I'm hoping it's not just totally out of focus because that'd be crap. So. What would be nice if this was. Like a high, I'm spitting all the screen there. High resolution version of the other screen. But it's not. So. Oh, actually, I'm set here. So this is the. I think the preset one. I think it's. We'll call it. Um, screen. Hmm. Focus. So anything in, of interest to anyone there? And I'll just quickly grab the other one back. This is the one with the dot matrix display. This is the one that I think will actually be useful. There's your codes for that if anyone's interested. I would read out, but you don't need me to, you guys. And obviously, no matter what language that's in, that's the same maybe way in it. So, right, so let me do the screen out of it, and we'll get to the nitty gritty of getting this out. Right, so before we do, a uh, quick rundown of what we're seeing here. Like I say, I'm not a professional, but I'm picking up a thing or two along the way. And I'll run you through what I'm learning. Uh, right, so here we have a piezo speaker. Do you know when a, uh, do you call it a multimeter, you know, it beeps? That's what this is for. So if your multimeter needs a new um, thing up, raise your energy meter. There you go, energy meter. Uh, smart meter, what you call it. That just runs to two points there. Um, and we've got the battery terminal soldered directly into place there. That's only a solder now for you see. So let's get that to the rescue. Quickly dab me in the tip. Hey, radio. So what I'll do it. Uh, I'm not going to be able to get this in shot the greatest. So can I? Can I get in the shot the greatest? I don't think it'll be the greatest, but maybe we can get it in shot. Right. So sorry about this. I'm trying to. Position my tweezers so I can come as close to the camera as I can. This is not going to work, is it? Let's try that. I don't want to hang it out of the camera because that would be crap. Right, so here, big solder blob. I'm going to be touching down. Give it a quick mill and pop that free. Oh crap. Did something ping out? Something pinged out, but I don't know where it went. It's in the air or something. That wouldn't be good, would it? <laughs> Uh, well, that just totally disappeared, so there's that. Right, um, I read all it stabbed in the foot by a spring, so I hope that doesn't come back to bite me in the butt later. Right, um, now, so if I start, I'll do them with the, um, what do you call it? Tweezers coming free from the ends. Should be okay, it does do. Can touch that, and yep, we're all good. It's all free now. <coughs> Excuse me. So often you inhale too much lead. <laughs> you have a tickle. Right, so I might actually be able to repurpose that for another project that I've got coming up. So well that one definitely. That should definitely be reusable. Um so we'll leave them battery things in there. They don't, don't need to come out, do they? You know, everyone's seen a battery terminal before, haven't they? So nothing special there. Let's get this good little thing out. That will do. Because the piezo speaker's plastic welded in, so I don't think I'm going to get that out without destroying the thing itself. I, I, I will destroy it because I won't actually take that out to try and repair, repair. But this multimeter that I've got, it, I bought it. It said it had a uh, continuity checker, a little speaker thing on it, and it turned out that it hasn't got a piezo speaker inside it. So 
Maybe we add this to that in a video. Let me just say, comment below if you're interested in seeing that. I don't want to bore people with my just random tech mods and gadgets and stuff. You get me? So if you're interested, let me know. If you're not, don't worry about it. All right, so on the back here, we've got all the test points. Uh, board number there, if that's any of interest to anyone. Have we got any chips that we can see? Yep, we have. Definitely got some chips. We've got a little M... XIC, obviously that's, I'm guessing the make of the actual chip itself, and that's 25L80 06E MTL 12G. Hmm, I'm guessing memory maybe, and this will be the CPU, which is a EM3581. And that's that's probably the actual company name or the chip name or something. And then we've got the model number over it is it'll be one one seven. So so start again. Ignore that one one seven. It's one seven that is. So start again from the very beginning. One seven two seven a zero zero r w l. And at the very bottom it's got T W. That means anything. I'm guessing Taiwan maybe. Oh, we got also got a little tiny chip here. This is a Sky or SKY twenty four thirty T, and then below that seven two three A A, and then obviously we got a little. This is for a signal of some kind. Probably the thing that you know earlier because you got this, haven't you, for the for it to communicate with the actual. What do you call it? This the, the the meter itself. This is directly. Is that what's that going to? So it seems like it's going to the test points. To be honest with you, so programming maybe. I'm definitely gonna re have a gander with this with that EEPROM reader, because that looks. You know what that looks like to me. Obviously, I'm I'm not a, a professional, like I say, but if, you, if you've seen any videos on the Nintendo Game and watch the recent rendition of it, you know when he got hacked. Well, not entirely sure, but I think this might be one of the memory modules, you know, that they're using that. And obviously, if it's got decent size, and it might be a real good one to ha you know ha harvest to do the mod or something. You can make it play all the different ROMs, can't you? But you can only get a very limited size of the chip itself, so. Maybe that's the biggest one. It could be the smallest one. I have no idea, but it does look a bit like it. To honest with you. But again, I don't really know my stuff, do I? Maybe I do. I just don't know what I do. <laughs> See, I'm very uncertain, as you can tell. They like some kind of ground test pads, you know, like, like a machine coming pressed down, and then they do some kind of magic fandangery with the computers to program it. I think that's pretty cool, that's what I see. It's a lot, not that much to it, really, is it? Think about it. Like, we got that. Plug it back together. I'm not putting the screens back in, obviously, but I'll give you the gist of it. So, obviously, the stickiness to it is going to stick to stuff. So, I think that's the. Um, got that one. Yeah, so, yeah, the thinner ones, the. the I think it's just lights up in certain segments, you know, to look like certain parts of the. like the flame or the meter or whatever. And that goes in there. Like so, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. So, hmm. Why is that that, isn't it? The way it's laid out. Because this one would have been to the side, wouldn't it? There. Have I got it in there? I've got it in right. Maybe it's. Is it the way around? I don't think that's not right, is it? You know, it fits that way, though. <laughs> uh, I'm not going to pop out. Hmm. Yeah, right. Ah, what I might do is, if you're interested, let me know obviously because I've got that EEPROM, EEPROM programmer that I keep meaning to mess about with. So, put this to the side. I've we'll messed about with this or that. If you want to see me do it on video, obviously let me know and I'll just do like a load of the, you know these little gadgets, see what we can connect to it and what shows for anything. Get screen capture so you can see what I'm seeing on the screen at the same time. So, oh, it might be interesting. You never know. I uh, hope you enjoyed that anyway. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time and bye.